Hey guys, welcome back to Next Gen Blog. And in this video, I want to show you how you can apply a blur dissolve transition between two videos in VSTC Free Video Editor. Now, it's actually super easy to apply a blur dissolve transition between two videos in VSTC. So, without further delay, let's get started and see how you can do this. Now, to demonstrate this, I've already imported two demo videos in the editor. So this is my first demo video and this is my second demo video and I've not overlapped my videos which I normally do when I make a transition tutorial rather I've placed them one after the other in the timeline and so the first thing which you need to do to apply a blur dissolve transition is first of all double click on the first demo video and then go to video effects go to filters select box blur and then click on ok now currently the duration of this box blur effect is the entire duration of my first demo video which is 17 seconds 666 milliseconds so i would like to reduce the duration of this box blur effect to just one second so inside the duration option write 01.000 and then press enter now place this box blur effect right at the end of the video like this. Perfect. Now look inside the box blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window. And you will find this option called blur levels where currently the value is 1. So delete this value and then write 2 semicolon 10 and then press enter. Perfect. Now the next thing which you need to do is you need to go to video effects, go to transitions, select mosaic and then click on OK. So the duration of my box blur effect was one second and the duration of my mosaic transition is 500 milliseconds. So keep that in mind. Now look inside the mosaic settings which is present inside the properties window inside type currently spiral in is selected so click on this drop down list and select dissolve inside directly false is selected so that's fine inside gradient length currently the value is 50 percent so delete this and write 100 and then press enter inside cell size currently in pixels is selected so click on this drop down list and select in percents perfect and let me just check how things are looking so this is how things are looking right now perfect now what we will do next is we will now double click on the second demo video and once again we will go to video effects we will go to filters select box blur and then click on ok now currently the duration of this box blur effect is the entire duration of my second demo video which is 14 seconds 200 milliseconds. So I would like to reduce the duration of this box blur effect to just one second. So inside duration write 01.000 and then press enter and I want this box blur effect at the beginning of the video. So it is already present at the beginning so we don't need to make any changes there. Now look inside the box blur effect settings which is present inside the properties window. Inside blur levels currently the values are 2 semicolon 10. So what you need to do is you need to simply reverse the values. So instead of 2 semicolon 10 write 10 semicolon 2 and then press enter. Perfect. Now the next thing which we will do is we will go to video effects. We will go to transitions select mosaic once again and then click on ok now place this mosaic transition right at the beginning of the video like this and then look inside the mosaic settings which is present inside the properties window type is already set to dissolve so that's fine inside directly false is selected so change this from false to true inside gradient length 100% is already selected and inside cell size in percents is already selected so now 
if I just quickly play this entire thing for you. So watch the blur dissolve transition which happens when the cursor moves from the first video to the second video. Perfect. Let me just quickly show this thing to you once again. So this is how you can apply a blur dissolve transition between two videos in VSTC free video editor. Do let me know your thoughts in the coming section below. Like the video and subscribe to my YouTube channel. I will again see in the next video. Till then thanks for watching.